Yes, yeah, so I had to just tie to the other side. on the bucket. The bucket. Way over there. The bucket way over there. You don't need to look at it. Don't pull me off center either. No, Woody. Woody. too much wool for me to hold him and undo the pin and try to Last night, just we, we just ran out of time. So once I got everything worked, I had to transfer all the information from my notebook into my computer. I know there's an easier way to do this. I know I can do it all right on my Gallagher and have it uploaded. I just haven't figured out how yet. So I'm gonna play around with that um, whenever we do the next group, which probably will be in February because we have so many, I don't know how many we'll have. I'm not gonna say so many. Hopefully there won't be very many, but we will have ewes that I wasn't planning on breeding that got bred because of the breakout. So 
when those come in and lamb, I will put new tags in them and I will figure out how to sync up moms with their lambs, even if they're, you know, three years old, and then to put all the, to put their, the number that I use and instead of the big long number that the Gallagher uses. I need, I, I need to play around with it a little more and try and figure it out. But I spent two and a half hours, I think, last night incorporating all the information into my computer. And that's, that's not just on the Gallagher um, software. It's also in my own personal records that I use that hangs at the barn that we use when we're breeding and when we're lambing. So that all needed to get transferred around. And then I also need to transfer all the information into my sheet Bible. And um, that's gonna take a while because there's a lot of numbers and there's a lot of sheep. And after we did all that, we were gifted a deer from a friend of ours. So we ended up cutting that up and processing it last night. We have a hind quarter in the oven right now, slow cooking, which will be dinner, and I'm excited. It's been a while since we've had venison. And I think that catches us up from yesterday. So I still probably have like maybe hour, hour and a half to finish getting all these numbers in just into the computer. That's not counting what I need to do elsewhere, but let me flip the camera and I will show you what exactly I'm doing. Okay, so up in this column, I put the tag number. Oh, that's really not, I got a lot of glare and junk going on. All right, we'll try that. Okay, so up here where it shows tag number, that is where I put, so I'm referencing this EID number and I look for it in my notes. And then once I figure out who it is, I put in the number that I use. Then I go into my sheep Bible. put down who daddy is and who mama is, whoops. Now eventually on the dam right here, I see I can't, I can't find the sheep. I think part of it is because I don't have very many in here but I also think I need to set something up and I'm not really sure what. The boys, I'll never, they won't ever have RFIDs short of um, the state changing rules and regulations and whatnot. So they will always just have their name put in. But I need to figure out how to, you know, she doesn't have an RFID yet, but I do have a couple others on this list that do. So then I put their original tag so that I can always cross-reference if needed. And then date of birth. And she was born, whoops. Then her name and then up here we go ahead female breed is dairy sheep and she is a white sheep and I haven't set up any of these other so then I just okay and then so this is all sturgeon's group so we then I just click on the next one and do it all again. So in my sheet Bible, I have, you know, 
the genealogy pedigree, whatever you want to call it, for the U, her name, date of birth, what the number is, which will have to get changed. And I used to keep a really good record of what their percentages were, and I have too many in my flock anymore of new stuff that, you know, we go here, this is a U I bought. I have no information on her. I know where she came from, but I just know she's part Lucane, part East Frisian, part Asaf or Awasi, but I don't know. So I've, I've kind of quit worrying about putting down the percentages of what my sheep are. They're just, they're just dairy sheep, they're mutts, and I'm okay with that. So. So yeah, essentially that is all I have been doing basically yesterday and this morning, and I have no idea what this afternoon's about, so. Uh, if we do anything exciting, I will bring you back and let you know, but I think this is it for me today. I'm just going to finish cleaning up my messes and maybe actually clean the house. He's out stacking again. My daughter just left for work and I might actually get something done. I do need to do laundry. And there's just little things, picking up the house, doing some cleaning. It's a Sunday. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.